Hey everyone, Adam with Dry Media here, and today we're going to be creating time lapses with raw images in Adobe After Effects. So in today's video, we are going to cover something that I get asked questions about somewhat regularly from clients or people that are just kind of starting out and have filmed a time lapse only to get home and realize that they have a bunch of raw images rather than a sequence of JPEGs that will easily be edited in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those raw images, open them in Adobe After Effects because it has access to the camera raw function from Photoshop, and we're going to be able to edit our time lapses that way. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. We've got After Effects open, and what we want to do is import all of these images. Now we can do that in a couple of ways. You can go up to File, Import, File. Um, I like to just double click here in the project settings area. And what that's going to do is pop open this screen, a uh, new window rather. And uh, I have got on my desktop this History Museum time lapse uh, from a project I shot recently. Now, uh, and this is just of the History Museum in uh, a nearby town. Uh, they're a client of mine, and uh, I just wanted an exterior time lapse uh, during a, a nice pretty day. So, the main thing we want to do here, uh, just click any of the images. It doesn't really matter at this point in time uh, which one you click. Um, these should be sorted by name, but you can, if they're sorted by size or something, uh, just go ahead and click one. And then really what we want to do is down here, we want to make sure that create composition, camera raw sequence, and force alphabetical order. We want to make sure that all three of these are clicked. And what that's going to do is it's going to sequentially or alphabetically sort all of our images in the right order. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and click open. And what's going to happen is another new window is going to pop up. And this you might be familiar with. This is the um, camera raw editor from Adobe Photoshop. And uh, this is going to give us access to uh, edit this image the same way we would a normal raw image in Photoshop. So uh, I'm going to just kind of warm this up just a little bit. I'm going to go through a couple of settings here. And uh, really, you can do whatever you want here. Um, it's your image. It's your photos. Uh, so this looks good to me. I'm going to click OK. And what this is going to do is it's going to populate this window here. It might take a second. So we can see we've got the image here in our composition. And what this has done is it has created a composition out of this time lapse. And instead of bringing in a ton of files, it is brought in one, and you can tell by the little icon that this is an image sequence. This is our composition back down here. And uh, just so this will play back a little smoother, I'm going to preview this. You can do it up here in the preview panel uh, up on the upper right for me. Click preview, and we're going to let that load. Now that this is rendered, you can play through by just hitting the space bar, or you can hit play up here. We're going to browse through that. It's good. You see the clouds moving. Wonderful. Our time lapse looks amazing. So we're not going to be adding any additional moves or anything cinematic to this. What we're going to do is just export this. And there's a couple of ways that we can do that. The way I recommend if you're new to this is go up to composition and then add to render queue. Now what this is going to do is it's going to add to the render queue down here that's built into After Effects. Now this is pretty basic, but it keeps us from getting into the weeds with all of the different settings that something like Adobe Media Encoder allows. Here under the lossless, we're going to click that. Um, and I should note that anything that's kind of lit up in blue here in Adobe After Effects or any of the Adobe programs, you can click and edit them. So under the output module, uh, this is going to go out as a QuickTime video because it is on a uh, because I am on a Mac. Uh, yours might be an AVI, depending if you're on a Windows or not, um, or something else. So good, all great there. Just kind of give you a sense of what's going on here. Uh, and we're going to click OK. And then here's where the output to. We're going to click on this. Uh, I'm going to tell it just to go to my desktop. And I'm going to call it History Museum TL for time lapse. It's a .mov. We're going to click Save. And then... Uh, we're going to hit render. Now what this will do is it's going to it's going to give us a render bar across here. It's going to render this out, export the video for someone else to watch it. You can send or upload or whatever you're going to do. We're going to click render there and let this go through. 
All right, now that we have got that exported or rendered, let's minimize that. Let's find this here on our desktop. All right, so you can see here, this is playing through just fine for us. This is exactly what we wanted. So there you have it, folks. That is how you create time lapses with raw images in Adobe After Effects. If you've got any questions about this tutorial or about how to do this or anything else related to this, let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you next time.